They say it, it's like a fight, but I don't think that's right. See, a fight would imply that there's a fighting chance. Yes? Yes, um, Huntington's disease. No cure. Uh, best case scenario with trials. I'll live a couple more years. Doctor, why, why are you here? My blood type is O. Uh, can we run a couple more antigen tests? I see it more like chemistry. A study of change, a soup of entropy, electrons change their orbits, molecules change their bonds. That's all of life. A constant cycle. Solution, dissolution, over and over. to hear about death. You know, we never wake up knowing someone will have died today. As we busy ourselves with all of the lovely distractions that life offers us, we push death away. This is stupid! It's so stupid! My, my mother or father didn't have it. No one in the family had it. It's... I had a life in front of me! There's no cure! Whatever your excuse is, Deaths heard it and responds with a gentle question. What were you waiting for? When did your hesitation become a full stop? What made you think you would be different? Because in the countdown to death, the question of why melts into when. You start to treat every moment as if it's your last. Do not let a belief in the afterlife excuse you from the responsibility of doing something beautiful with your life. Even if it's one failure after the next. Fail. And fail again. There is try, and there is value in trying. Risk is your endorsement of hope. Your fear of death is the realization that you haven't even tried to press your hands into the air and leave your imprint in the horizon for others to chase and follow. Don't panic. There's still time. And you are dying. Don't panic. You're only dying.